this is a B&K electronic multimeter that I bought several years ago at a ham fest. And here's the problem. It's dead. And of course I've checked the fuses, but uh, nothing. And I'd like to get this working. It's a very useful multimeter. This B&K multimeter is really a nice one. As you can see, it has a very large meter. So you can see what's going on from a distance. Here's the uh, back side of it. And here's a closer look at the stickers that are on the bottom of this meter. Now here I've torn it apart even more looking for obvious burn marks or something like that and didn't see anything. Now here's an overall shot of the front of this and as I zoom in it'll be very obvious that uh, there's something not quite right with this. This is definitely not factory or original. And what has happened is the bulb is burned out. My next step was to get on the internet and I found the manual for it and downloaded it and here is part of the wiring diagram and what somebody did was they opened it up right here and put a lamp in there. They also uh, took out the uh, right resistor. They put in a, I think it was a 120 ohm resistor. The wiring diagram calls for a 100 ohm resistor. So I removed all of that and put in a new 100 ohm resistor and here I am testing it out a little bit to make sure that the meter will function and that was the at least right now the major problem. The meter now seemed to function on all scales so I decided well I'll go ahead and put in a lamp but I'm going to use this LED and this resistor in series and I've got the resistor connected to the positive connection of that LED and it's going to go into the circuit like this. It's very simple and here I am testing that before I uh, put it in its holder. Seems to work pretty good. So I put it in the holder and then uh, secured it uh, just with some shrink tubing. And before I uh, put it all back together, the manual also has the alignment instructions. So I went ahead and did that also. And here is the meter all complete back together and everything is working the way that it should. Okay, I'd like to do a demo of this meter. The features that I use on this mostly are the low power ohms and the high power ohms. And I'll demonstrate what the difference is. I've got it on low right now. Here's an ordinary diode. And it reads open. Okay, the low power does not have a, enough voltage 
to make the junction conduct in this diode. Okay, now I'll flip it to high power. Okay. And it does have enough power to make it conduct. Okay, now here's a 2500 ohm resistor. Okay, that reads correctly. Now here's the low and the advantage is let's see it goes this way is I can read this resistance even though there's a semiconductor in circuit. Flip that to the high power. Now I can read the diode in the circuit. It's a very handy feature.